Welcome back guys to another Kenga video. Today we're going over Kuroki Gensai, the legendary beard from Kangen Astro and Kangen Omega. If you're new here and enjoy Kangen Astro, Kangen Omega content, make sure to subscribe and I hope you enjoy today's video. So Kuroki Gensai is also known as the Devil Lens, is a renowned assassin in the criminal underworld and an affiliated fighter for Motorhead Motors in the Kangen Annihilation Tournament. His age in Kangen Omega is now 53, his weight is 96 K and his Kangen wins are 5 wins and 0 losses. His Astro debut was chapter 31 and his Kangen Omega debut was chapter 44 and he was first featured in episode 7 of the anime. I'll go over his history first and some things about him then his power and abilities. So here's history. After his master had passed away he was visited by Tokita Nikko, the person who trained uh, Oma pretty much and who had become searched with knowledge regarding Gayo Mukayu which is another character who in the martial arts underworld pretty much. During a meetup with a close friend Genzan, Gensai was told about wanting to revamp and motorize the uh, Koei style because he had found himself a promising student. At some point in his past he clashed and killed uh, Rei's father, Rei from uh, the Kangan Annihilation Tournament. At an unknown time Kroki also went to Mount uh, Shiobabara Temple, probably butchered the fuck out of that. A holy land where many martial artists have come to train since since the uh, Kamura period and performed the Purgatory Asteri. Despite the difficulty and danger right opposed, Kuroki accomplished it with ease. The Purgatory uh, or Destu, it's like a martial arts based test that many people die trying to do and he was able to pass it with ease. Before the Kangan Annihilation Tournament in Kangan Asho, Kuroki was invited to participate by Metsudo. Accepting the invitation, Kuroki then asks his old friend Kurumi to enter him into the tournament as Motehead Motors a field fighter. There we go. The only time he's seen in King and Omega is where he's said to be in a certain tribe around America somewhere in the USA and he's discussing Rihito's growth over the past two years so that's really much all he's done. Uh, for his plot he, as we know he was the winner of the King and Annihilation tournament. He won every match all five matches he won. Took out Oma, took out the Fang of Mitsudo, this absolute Chad lad, took out Ray, took out everyone pretty much of notable strength who he went up against he took him out quite easy and there you go he trained Raito somewhat over the two tier comp step now I'll go over his power and abilities he's a master of the K1 style Kuroki Gensai is an extremely powerful unarmed combatant having defeated many re-owned and powerful opponents over the whole time of his life his techniques is based around the, the Kai Wan style, with the Devil Lance being his main signature move. Due to his fingers being abnormally sturdy and tough, he can easily punch right through solid steel and human flesh with this technique, as he did throughout the King of the Ocean tournament, piercing through the Fang or Agito's and Oma's chest with ease. Uh, motionless is another technique he uses. It's pretty much the master prediction, it's similar to Nico style, but it's not redirection, it's pretty much mastering the prediction of what they're going to do and being able to counter attack shortly after. That's how he was able to win many of the fights with people like Ray having his like lightning flash attack. He was able to use the motionless skill to predict it and then win. Another attack called Sanchin, which is a defensive kata with origins from uh, Rayunade Karate. It is said to be the simplest yet ultimate kata. A seasoned martyr sex Roki can use Sanchin to shake off any and all blows if need be, as he did in many of the fights with parrying a lot of stuff taking zero damage and then countering attack with like the devil lance to easily win. Straight punch six strikes, pretty simple what that is. And then an unnamed technique that we don't know the name of currently. Kuroki can also use a technique that's similar to the Nico style's bone bending which allows him to adequately control his right hand and finger despite them being completely broken. It's said in the manga that he used his finger muscle to contract his bone somehow. So that's how he pretty much did it. They're all his major techniques that we learn of throughout the Annihilation Tournament. He's currently not confirmed to be fighting in the, uh, what's it called? The tournament in Omega against Purgatory, as you know, because two chattel this win. He's probably the strongest fighter that we've seen throughout the story in Kang and Omega. I don't think we've seen anyone who would be able to take him down. He took out the Fang pretty easily. Like, he broke his hand, but like, even with his hand broken and he was still pretty stable and able to take him out and then he took up full power Oma pretty much. Well, not full power but new reserved Oma pretty much. If he took out Ray, this absolute gun. So there we go. It's also good to note that his only major reason to entering the Kangen Annihilation Tournament was to 
test his power to see that his training's paid off over all these years. He went in the tournament, he won, but even after the tournament, while meditating under the waterfall, Kroki stated or pretty much said to himself that he's far from where he wanted to be. So as we can see, after those two years, he continued to train even harder and then to the current chapter, he's probably training. He's already the strongest character. He took out everyone strong that he went against him and he just, you know, won. He could probably win against anyone else in the tournament if he had different matchups. So there you go. There is Kuroki Gensai, the beard, almighty beard, as he's known in the fandom. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment your thoughts on the video and any other videos you want me to make. I'd love to uh, hear what you have to say. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And yep, that's it, guys. Peace.